Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This time I'm trying to do again something a little bit different. I'm going to be commenting on the things that I'm seeing here and you're going to see my face too. So this is actually a self-portrait but I am really happy with the results. I'm trying to get a little bit of identity on what I'm doing and I think that I was able to figure it out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be showing here the progress. Right now it looks a little bit like uh, Annabelle, Annabelle 6. You can almost hear the screams. As I said the other time, what I always do is I just start applying the ink and then I start to blur it out and that's when I start to get some shape as you can see right now happening. Uh, in this image, I actually use the trick of the transfer. Uh, every time that I do something, I start with a goal. The goal can be to achieve a more closer color, could be to achieve more texture, more likely, and so on. In that case, since I decided to do uh, to use actually a kind of bunkers color, I love purple. I bought a color out of Impulse, and I didn't figure out any way to use it. So I said, no, I'm going to use that right now, and I'm going to do monochrome. But since the color is not going to be the goal here, so I want to make it look as good as I can with the skin, with the likely. And what I did was I used transfer technique. I pretty much copied the drawing to pass to the canvas. And like that, I was sort of focusing on fixing things. I was able to focus on getting the right, to, uh, the right dark and light colors. I'm thinking what else I had to say. I had so much to say before and now that I'm finally recording the video, I don't remember. Uh, I'm actually studying a lot because when you do a painting, it's not about just the element that you are doing. It always has some kind of background, even though it's just a blurred thing with no definition, but it's something interesting and that complements the painting. I have been seeing so many videos late night in YouTube to try to figure it out a way to do the background should be a little bit more interesting. What I was able to come out with was that thing that you're seeing here. And I didn't like much. The idea was not to be a coffee color, was to be other tones of purple because it pretty much makes blue and red. But I didn't check that reference uh, table that I said on a previous video. And pretty much I think that I, I mixed the wrong, the wrong tones of those and, and then end up like that. So even though I'm still going to be working on it, I will still have to figure out something else to do. But until I finish, I will not have an idea of how it's going to look like. I really have to have the figure popping and then let's see. Uh, and actually, painting is not the only research that I I have been doing it has been a really rough week, rough, yeah, rough week, and I have been researching a lot about marketing, about how to put content. Recently, I just opened my Instagram account, and I converted my account of Pinterest to business as well. And um, there is a lot of different things. I I feel like. Uh, our grandparents, when they say, I don't know how to make, how to do stuff on this thing. This is how I feel. But I am figuring out how to download IGTV. I'm seeing a lot of videos on how to make tricks on me, on how to make it look better. It's, my head is like, mind blown. Right now, it's a, a part of the painting that I really enjoyed a lot doing. When you put the first layer, it looks so blurry, so weird, doesn't look like it's going to go well, and it's a little bit stressful. But now that I have just done one of the eyes, and I'm finishing the nose, you can see how the detail pops compared with the rest. I mean, my nose is really taking the picture right. I know I have a big nose, but it's, it's calling a lot of attention right now. And I have changed a little bit the colors during the drawing. 
The drawing? No, the painting, sorry. I had started with that purple color that I had, but I was trying to make a little bit darker because it's not a dark color. And I add a bit of blue to do it. And I loved the color that I got when I mixed with the bit of blue. It's that bluish tone. It's, it's really, really, really interesting. For me, at least. I love cold colors. I don't know what you have been doing to spend your time during the quarantine. 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 Well, you understand, right? My thing has been painting. Actually, I spent like six hours a few days ago cutting canvas fabric. Oh my god. It's much cheaper, but your back and your hands suffer so much. But even though I would do again because makes the sheet goes like 50 cents of a dollar for a A3 size. So this is great. Wow, now I am finally starting a little bit of the cheeks. I really like that part. Because the cheek and the forehead, it's one thing that at least ladies, I guess, are more used to play with highlight and contour, right? Because we learned that with makeup. It's the part that I know what to, how to do and it's much easier. In that painting, one thing that I did was I have barely used the queen. Although it takes a longer time to dry when you don't use, I don't know, I have enjoyed more not to use it. And do the layer as thin as I can. In that case, I was doing really, really thin layers, except for the hair. The hair, I have no idea how to do with thin layers. I just go with a bunch of ink. I try to do things like without thinking, almost blinding myself, because I still cannot make much sense out of it. However, the results are, I would say, incredible for someone that has no idea. Unintentionally, I did something that I was like, holy shit, I didn't expect that it was going to get like that. I am using a necklace, necklace, oh, a collar, and there is a, a little thing here, the tail here. And I was just like, ah, let me just mark this up and then I'm going to do later. I'll see what I'm going to do. And the mark that I did surprisingly had the shape of when it curls. So one side had a little bit of highlight, the other side had a little bit of a highlight, but they are not like a straight line. It was like there was a little twist. It was so perfect that intentionally I don't think that I would be able to do that. What happened was that it was a little bit of a mark that it was missing ink that you can see you could see the canvas. And when I started to do the skin around, I said, oh no, I'm not going to erase that, that's perfect. I had no idea I could even do that. I don't remember how I did it, I just know that I just... And it came out. And the detail, the little pink, also surprised me because the only thing that I did I was like, okay, the color is coming here, I know that here there's dark, I put a little bit of a dark part. Here should be a little bit dark too. Ah, here too, here too and then highlight and when I looked at I was like okay I don't think that I should be able to put more detail than that because you have to train on something to be able to do it it's not like you wake up and you start doing oh no I know how to paint your face so I know how to paint everything no you have to train this is why I say that I am so terrible with landscape I barely ever tried when I tried it was so awful that I felt bad of trying again and some stuff of uh, it's called that nature, steel objects. I have never, ever, ever tried. So things that shiny, like uh, silver, like rocks, this kind of thing, I, I haven't tried before. And it was really nice to see that out of accident, I end up doing something that I would not be able to do consciously. Maybe one day I'm going to do an exercise, exercise of only hair, because hair, it's very overwhelming. I don't know, otherwise I would take more than a month to be able to post a portrait. But in the end, just doing that, when I looked, I was like, okay, it's really interesting, I really like it, it's, it's good enough for me. 
Uh, I had a little bit of problem with the the support of the logs that I was using, the string, and I tried to also go just blind. Okay, so you, you make a color and you know that where it is going to be pressing the skin, you are going to have a little bit of a darker place as a shell, just mark and it's okay. And then the end that was something that was like, whoa, for me, it was kind of accidentally. I was looking a lot on how some portrait, portrait artist does, so they don't do just the classical thing. And I saw a lot of things with mixing colors, with accidental brush strokes, and I was like, how can I do that? Well, I want to do with something that is with the colors that I have on the painting. And the colors that I had used on the background were the Petal of Blue and the Rose Antique Mother. And I'm going to start making some things passing through me. Uh, I want to actually give a little bit more of highlight to my face. So I'm going to do that more over the shoulders. I'm going to do that a little bit, a little bit on the hair. And I love to make that circle pattern. I'm going to play a little bit more with geometrical stuff on the new, on the other ones. And I think like I raised a little bit too much, so I went and I started doing the hair. And when I did the hair, I loved because it made that feeling of like there is a little bit of air, a little bit of movement. And that was for me actually the best part of the painting. First, because I finished and saw, oh my god, look. For me, it looks like a picture, it was the best portrait that I have ever done. And in the other hand, because I have never done something so creative and it, it looks cool, it almost looks like I know what I have been doing and it was very fast. Now that the video is almost over, I would like to ask for feedback. This is about the third uh, style that I do my video editing and I would like to know if you prefer this one or one of the two other options that I'm showing there. I would like to thank you for watching the video. If you like, please comment, hit the button like and please subscribe. Bye bye!